From a carrot that would thrill Khaleesi to a spiralized head of broccoli, here are some unusual vegetables that you haven't heard of. Number 17, kohlrabi. This odd veggie is also known as a German turnip. It's technically the same species as broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and everything else you can't get your five-year-old to eat. But if you fancy a side of kohlrabi with your meal, then you can eat it cooked or raw. So it suits the lifestyle of omnivores, vegetarians, and even raw vegans. Although it gets its name from the German words for cabbage turnip, this vegetable isn't related to turnips. Despite all its semi-similar appearance, the kohlrabi was created over time via artificial selection. As we previously stated, it's the same species as broccoli and cabbage, and it tastes very similar to those vegetables as well. However, kohlrabi has a sweeter, milder flavor. Number 16, black radish. We've all seen the bright red variety of this tasty vegetable, but have you ever seen the gothic version of your everyday radish? The black radish is a type that grows during the winter. How all radishes came to be is still partially a mystery. However, some of their roots are traced all the way back to ancient Egypt, and archaeologists have found depictions of these veggies on tombs. Many believe that the black radish originated in Syria. The first mentioning of it took place in 1548 in Europe, when the radish strain was popular. Black radishes are larger than their colorful counterparts and grow up to 10 centimeters across. Number 15, Oka. The Oka is a tuber vegetable that is also known by the scientific name Oxalis tuberosa. This strange looking root veggie is a staple food for people that live in the rural Andes. Oka is so common, in fact, that it only comes second to regular potatoes regarding the size of the area in which it's grown. However, many of us haven't heard of this tasty, carbohydrate rich vegetable. They come in many different shapes, sizes, and colors, making Oka as beautiful as it is delicious. Plus, the entire plant can be eaten, including the leaves. Oka is a significant source of potassium, iron, and vitamin C, and it even contains some protein. Number 14, sea beans. Sea beans are also known as salicornia, sapphire greens, sea asparagus, and my personal favorite, pickleweed, or the less appetizing, glasswort. They grow on various beaches, salt marshes, and around mangroves and can be found just about everywhere there's salt water, from North America to South Africa. Technically, sea beans are herbs, and they can be eaten raw or cooked, but in England, at least, the sea beans are primarily eaten cooked. Of course, it's prepared without any added salt and a lot of the water due to its high salinity from where it grows. The inside of the pickleweed is tough and strong so the outside is eaten after the flesh is softened. It looks similar to seaweed, but it tastes like asparagus and spinach stems. Don't forget to subscribe! Number 13, calabash. The calabash is actually a fruit and is known by several different names, including white flowered gourd, bottle gourd, long melon, Tasmania bean, and the New Guinea bean. Having many names suits the calabash. However, because they also grow in numerous shapes, this gourd can be bottle shaped, round, or narrow and long. Calabash is common to subtropical and tropical places and is thought to have originated somewhere in Southern Africa. If you plan on eating one of these vegetables, then you should be careful. Although they are generally safe to eat, some of them can be high in cucurbitacin which cause a bitter taste and can result in stomach ulcers. However, some people have passed away after consuming gourd juice, but you can avoid serious health issues by tasting a little portion of the veggie before juicing. Who drinks a lot of gourd juice anyway? You know as well as we do. Number 12, Chinese artichoke. This grub-looking vegetable originally comes from northern and central China. Chinese artichoke is also known as crossne, Japanese artichoke, and knotroot. The plant sprouts purple and red flowers, and its leaves are green. However, the part that you eat is under the ground. The edible tuber grows is about two inches long and half an inch thick and has a thin ivory or beige skin. The flesh of the veggie is white. They're crunchy and sweet and can be eaten cooked, raw, dried, or pickled. So pretty much any way you can think of. The entire Chinese artichoke is also used in traditional Chinese medicine to treat pneumonia and colds. It has also been found to have antioxidants and antimicrobial properties. Number 11, Romanesco. Romanesco broccoli, aka Roman cauliflower, looks somewhat similar to cauliflower, but it's a yellowish green and is geometric in appearance, almost like a vegetable you'd see in a video game. This peculiar veggie is made up of a spiral of florets, and each contain much smaller buds, giving the romesco its signature look. It is high in vitamins K and C and fiber. Romanesco is crunchier than cauliflower, and its flavor is more mellow. So any broccoli and cauliflower haters out there should give this veggie a try. Number 10, Celeric. This root vegetable goes by knob celery, celery root, and turnip rooted celery as well. However, it isn't closely related to the turnip. Celeric can be eaten cooked or raw, and it is generally harvested once it grows to about 14 centimeters wide. As you might have guessed, this veggie tastes very similar to celery, and it can be cooked in various ways, such as mashed like potatoes or in a stew. Plus, celeric has a long shelf life, ranging from six to eight months in the right conditions. Number nine, dragon carrot. These carrots are as delicious as they are beautiful. 
So if you're into eating good looking food and tasty foods, then you should give this vegetable a try. They're grown the same way the average orange carrots are. However, they are deep purple red on the outside, bright orange under the skin, and yellow in the center. Dragon carrots are mostly sweet tasting, but they have a little spice as well. Number eight, dulse. Like most of the unusual vegetables on our list, dulse also has several names. It is also known as dilsk, dilisk, sea lettuce flakes, and red dulse. Although you might turn your nose up at this veggie initially, you'd be in for a nice surprise if you give it a try. Dulse is red algae that grows on the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean's northern coast, and people have been harvesting it for centuries. The earliest recorded harvest of dulse was about 1,400 years ago by monks in St. Columbia, and there's a good reason this leafy vegetable has been popular for so long. Dulse has a lot of essential vitamins and proteins that humans thrive on. It's commonly found in Irish dishes like white soda bread and is used in parts of Canada, Iceland, and the United States for food and medical purposes. Pretty much any dish you can think of, dulse can be used in. Sandwiches, soups, salads, breads. Dulse is also a great snack for those trying to stay healthy without sacrificing flavor. Number seven, Corella. Although this one might technically be a fruit, it's too weird not to make on our list. Corella is also called bitter gourd, bitter squash, or bitter melon. Basically, it's just a very bitter fruit. It grows on a vine that sprouts yellow flowers, and the Corella itself has an odd, long shape. It has a thin layer of skin, and the inside is light with big, flat seeds. Most of the time, bitter squash is eaten while it's green. But as it ripens, the fruit turns a bright yellow color, and the inside becomes striking red. Corella is often used in dim sum, stir fries, and soups in the Chinese cuisine. In India, it is generally served in curry or alongside yogurt to complement its bitter flavor. Plus, bitter melon has many medicinal properties, including treatments for infections and as a cancer preventative. It is being studied in labs, but there isn't enough evidence for doctors to recommend Corella as a treatment for certain illnesses, but it has been used to treat stomach problems in Jamaica for a long time. However, bitter melon has some side effects as well, including chest pain, fever, diarrhea, and hyperglycemia. Number six, garlic scapes. The first time you see this vegetable, you might think you stumbled across some overgrown green onion. However, garlic scapes are a veggie all their own. Scapes refer to stems or stalks of plants, although the definition isn't set in stone. Garlic scapes grow out of the bulb and are generally removed so that the energy spent growing is focused on the bulb. However, the scapes are perfectly edible and delicious. They can be consumed raw or cooked and are also referred to as garlic tops, stems, or spears. If you don't like strong garlic flavor but still want a bit of that savory taste, then the scapes are a great alternative to adding cloves. They are much milder and make a great addition to most dishes. Number five, winter melon. This gourd is another fruit that is odd enough for a spot on our list. The name winter melon comes from the fact that it is often stored to be eaten during the winter. However, it is grown during the summer and fall. It is also known as the ash gourd, wax gourd, white gourd, and winter gourd. The outside of the fruit looks similar to a watermelon, but the inside is light green and white. Winter melon can grow up to over 12 inches long and can weigh over 40 pounds. But this fruit can't be eaten raw, not that you'd want to anyway, considering the flesh doesn't have a taste. Winter melon can be braised, simmered, steamed, and is often used in soup. It also pickles well, making it a great choice for stocking up on pantry ingredients. Plus, this gourd has been used in Chinese medicine for a long time as a treatment for urinary tract issues. Winter melon is high in dietary fiber and vitamin B as well. Number four, purple sweet potatoes. These gems of the root vegetable world are eye-catching as well as delicious. They look slightly brownish pink on the outside, but when you slice one open, the gorgeous royal purple flesh is revealed. Purple sweet potatoes were developed in Okinawa, Japan, when various types of sweet potatoes were brought to Asia. However, the purple sweet potato is often mistaken for a yam. Purple sweet potatoes aren't only delicious, however, they are also healthy, containing vitamin C, B6, potassium, antioxidants, and fiber. Number three, watermelon jerkins. Although the name jerkin probably reminds you of a tiny cucumber, these little fruits actually fall into the Melothria genus. They're also called Mexican sour jerkins, cucamelon, Mexican miniature watermelon, mouse melon, and Mexican sour cucumber. Plus, it looks just like a shrunken watermelon, which might not be shocking considering its various names, but they taste nothing like the large fruit they're named after. They're milk and citrusy in flavor and are primarily used for pickling. Number two, fiddleheads. The first time you see a fiddlehead, you might believe it's a curled up green caterpillar. However, there are vegetables that have been eaten for centuries in Asia, France, North America, and various other places. Fiddleheads are harvested commercially and naturally for age during the spring, but there are multiple types of ferns that these peculiar-looking vegetables are plucked from. Some of them include the western sword fern, bracken, royal fern, ostrich fern, and cinnamon fern. When they are picked, only half of them are taken from each plant to ensure sustainability because over-harvesting will exterminate the plant. If you've never tried eating fiddleheads before, then you're in for a surprise. Although they look strange, most people 
people compare the flavor to young spinach and asparagus mixed together. Other people compare the taste to mushrooms and artichokes. Whatever the case, it's worth a try. Plus, adding fiddleheads is a wonderful way to mix up your everyday meals. But remember, it's best to cook this veggie thoroughly because they can cause food poisoning or stomach aches if eaten raw. Number 1. Tiger Nuts Despite the Tiger Nuts misleading name, it actually isn't a nut. It's a tuber. They're about the size of garbanzo beans. Tiger Nuts don't look very appetizing considering their wrinkly brown exteriors, but they taste nutty, sweetie, and somewhat like coconuts. In addition to their pleasant taste, Tiger Nuts also have numerous health benefits. They contain vitamin E, vitamin C, potassium, calcium, iron, protein, and other nutrients. Plus, Tiger Nuts help with digestion. Since they contain insoluble fiber, they get the process moving more quickly. Tiger Nuts also help maintain your blood sugar levels and help increase the production of insulin. These tubers are only good for your physical health, however. They're also great for getting things going in the bedroom. These little boosters have been used by Nigerian men for decades. A study conducted on rats showed that the ones who ate significant amounts of Tiger Nuts for a month experienced increased testosterone levels and intimate activity. So don't be afraid to serve Tiger Nuts alongside your next romantic meal with your honey. You'll both appreciate it later on. Today's feature comment comes from BR Silva on our controversy of Meghan Markle and the royal family video. Thanks for your comment, Silva. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below and we might feature you in a future video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.